You guys, Christmas is just five days away. That's right. I saw that uh, Google has a Santa tracker where you can watch Santa's journey around the world. Yeah. Uh, not to be outdone, Facebook has a tracker where you can steal Santa's social security number. <laughs> Isn't that nice? Yeah. It's at the Spotify Makes playlist. Yeah. Oh. Uh, but with just five days until Christmas, we're reaching the point where any toys you order online won't arrive in time. Right now, every closed Toys R Us is like, how you like me now? <laughs> now, you like it? now you like Toys R Us? Well, I heard that a popular gift this year are those personal DNA testing kits. You know, they're pretty cool. You send in your sample, and then after a few weeks, you get a letter back that says, Sir, that cup was for saliva. And you go, oh. Indeed. And I did that. I thought it wanted a stool sample. <laughs> oh, my God. They, they said they needed a stool sample, a semen sample, and a urine sample. Oh, then what did you send them? My underwear. Guys. Oh. <laughs> Only but a golden. Guys, uh. I read that even though fewer people uh, send physical mail nowadays, a lot of people still send holiday greeting cards, including celebrities. Oh. Very nice. Just look at some of the homemade cards they've written this year. For example, Seth Rogen wrote, Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree. You open it up, it says, You're not the only thing I'm lighting tonight. Isn't that ah. nice? Wow, ah. ah, you have beautiful penmanship, too. Supreme Court Justice Brett Kavanaugh wrote, It's time for my favorite holiday tradition. You open it up, it says, Chugging eggnog through a funnel. Wow. Ah. Ah. Former Trump attorney Michael Cohen wrote, Last Christmas, I gave you my heart. Oh. Open it up, says, but only because I was acting under direct orders from individual one. Wow. Found an old English one. And finally, Cardi B wrote, It's beginning to look a lot like you. Open it up, says, Oh, Christmas. There you go. So much better than a store bought card. Yeah. Homemade. Why would you want one? You want homemade. Yeah. You can tell. Uh, care when I guess I saw that tomorrow President Trump leaves for a 16-day trip to Mar-a-Lago where he'll have his annual Christmas party. And just to mess with him, the only song the DJ will play is Feliz Navidad. <laughs> can we put a wall in front of the DJ? <laughs> 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 Can't see the DJ. Oh, I can't do that. Here's a big story. Trump wants to go against his advisors and pull U.S. troops out of Syria. I'm not sure Trump should be making this decision because he thinks Syria is the voice on his iPhone. He's like, Syria, build me a border wall in front of that DJ. Of course, Trump is always in the news, and sometimes he's saying some pretty questionable things. And while we can't filter what he says, we can filter how he looks when he says it. I'll show you what I mean. It's time for Trump filters. Here we go. The great lawyers that do that stuff are saying, there's nothing illegal. All right, we'll get to that no, in a no, second. No, no, wait a minute. I mean, when you tell me I'm at 50%, I say, how can I possibly be at 50%? So when you tell me I'm at 48, like Rasmussen, I was at 50 in Rasmussen. With this type of approval rating, what do you say to a case? I think you have the great... Highest space in the history of politics. Interesting. Guys, listen to this. In his speech this morning, Russian President Vladimir Putin said that he'd like to get married again someday. Yeah, it's very interesting. When you see Putin on Tinder and try to swipe left, your phone says, try again. <laughs> think, think about it. Uh, this made me laugh. An aquarium in California tweeted a picture of a sea otter with some um, memes about its weight. And uh, then a local news anchor decided to read the memes on air. It was just a little awkward. Watch this. An otter from the Monterey Bay Aquarium is getting major attention from the Internet after the aquarium sent out this tweet writing, and we quote, Abby is a thick girl. What an absolute unit. She is C-H-O-N-K. Look at the size of this lady. Oh, Lord, she coming another Internetism. She, she chunk. C H O N K. It sounds like a vice principal trying to bond with students. He's like, you know what's always on fleek? Respect. <laughs> and doing your homework. This parent teacher conference is lit. <laughs> Check this out. I heard that uh, Budweiser is partnering with a medical marijuana company to make weed infused beer. Budweiser said, uh, if 2019 is anything like 2018, you're going to want this. <laughs> this is it's this, this staple in the fridge. 
That's right, Budweiser is making beer with marijuana. There's actually a name for beer that's infused with weed, NyQuil. And uh, it's delicious. <laughs> I get this. I read that uh, workout clothes made out of velvet are becoming very popular. Yeah. Velvet workout clothes, or as it's known in New Jersey, formal wear. Oh, hey, hey. Oh. Excuse hey. me. Whoa. Forget about it. Excuse me. <laughs> I need a velour cummerbund. Uh, you guys, it's almost New Year's, and since it's been such a crazy year with Trump in office, we thought we'd look back and count down his top moments from 2018. Enjoy. Five. China has total respect for Donald Trump and for Donald Trump's very, very large a brain. Four. You need to vote for Scott Walker and Leah. <laughs> Three. <laughs> Two. Merry Christmas, everybody. Uh, One. The Father Herman is looking down. He's very proud of you right oh, he's now. He's still alive. He's uh, still oh, he is? Well, then he's. <laughs> 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 He's still alive. Oh, he's yeah. yeah. He's, he's still alive. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> and finally, it's time for tonight's show, News Blender, where we take real headlines from the week and blend them together to see how weird we can make the headlines. I'll show you what I mean. For example, if you blend the stories, charity spends money on Trump self-portrait. Kool-Aid Man stars in new rap video, and company with low internet speed owes millions. You get Trump spends millions on portrait of Kool-Aid Man in a speedo. Oh. Yeah, weirder, yeah, I weirder believe headlines. It. I believe it. Next up, if you blend the stories, Wrinkle Cream makes list of worst gifts. Post office delivers 900 million packages and nudist retreat for sale. You get post office delivers Wrinkle Cream to 900 nudists for their packages. Whoa! Next up, if you blend the stories, Trump goes after tax cuts for booze. All I want for Christmas is you, a top song every year. And tweet defends Sarah Huckabee Sanders. You get after every Trump tweet, Sarah Huckabee Sanders sings, All I Want for Christmas is Booze. <laughs> and finally, if you blend the stories, critics say Bernie Sanders too old for 2020, massive explosion caused by spray cans, and man finds soiled underwear in sushi delivery. You get Bernie Sanders eats old sushi, soils underwear, and massive can explosion. <laughs> Guys, we have a great show tonight. Give it up for the room. And it's on and on and on.